there's been a lot of concern expressed about whether or not the COVID-19 vaccines have an impact on fertility, men or women. Right. So far, what does the data show? Right. So far, the data don't show any uh, effect on fertility for men or women from the COVID vaccine. Um, it looks like all of this arose from an internet rumor that came out um, kind of early on uh, when the vaccine was rolling out, but there was never any data to substantiate that. And thus far, there has, has again, been no data um, that that's true that, that the vaccine is associated with an increased risk for fertility problems or miscarriage. Have you seen any issues at all with it for women who have, who are pregnant and have gotten vaccinated? Have you seen anything, any issues with their pregnancies? Any changes in, in, in what the numbers look like? Right. No, uh, so far everyone uh, that I know that has been vaccinated has done very well during their pregnancy, no complications. Um, their babies have been fine. Uh, there is data accumulating in published studies that that is, is what other people are reporting as well, that their outcomes are good, that um, babies even have antibody present, which is very encouraging because that may mean that we're conferring some immunity to the babies too, which is exciting. So, uh, you know, thus far across the country, no reports of, of uh, you know, complications with pregnancy from the vaccine uh, and no risk to the babies from the vaccine. How about for women who, who want to breastfeed? Any concerns there? No, no. Again, only good news that the, you know, the antibody seems to be present in, in um, you know, breast milk and that, again, we think that this is going to confer an immunity to the baby and, and only result in good things. So, again, this is, the vaccine is recommended for breastfeeding mothers um, as well. Very recently, we started to hear some stories about um, possible changes in women's menstrual cycle immediately following vaccination. Is this something that people should be concerned about? Is this something that is unusual with vaccination? Right, right. Again, it seems like sort of on the internet, things bubbled up and, and there were anecdotal reports of women having uh, irregular menstrual cycles or bleeding after they got the vaccine. And so far, there hasn't really been anything that I've seen published about, uh, you know, a real association. It's just sort of all these anecdotal reports. Um, but, you know, that, that's been also commented on uh, after other vaccines. Uh, you know, women reported some menstrual irregularities after getting other vaccines like HPV. So this may not actually be an uncommon phenomenon with vaccinations that um, it's just uh, since there's such a heightened awareness around the COVID-19 vaccine that people are, are uh, you know, are, are, are talking about it. Um, but I think it's going to, you know, take some, some uh, published data to see if it, it really turns out to be true. Um, you also got to think about, you know, getting vaccinated may be kind of stressful and any kind of stressor situation can alter your menstrual cycle. So this, again, it may just be kind of a natural thing that goes back to normal after the stress of getting a vaccine is over. What advice would you give women as it relates to COVID-19 and the vaccination? Yeah, I, I would echo what the uh, American College of OBGYN, as well as the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, um, has said over and over again, um, is we strongly recommend that pregnant patients, lactating patients, any, any woman get the COVID-19 vaccine. We know that the COVID uh, can adversely affect a, a, a pregnant woman and they have a higher chance of, of complications and ending up in the ICU, on the ventilator. So, um, you know, we really are, are, uh, are, are talking to our patients more and more about getting the vaccine and encouraging them to do so. Um, ACOG and SMFM just came out with a strong recommendation for the COVID-19 vaccine. So I, I hope that women avail themselves of, of this um, technology because I, I know in our practice here um, at, at South, we're seeing more and more sick pregnant women and it has all of us very concerned.